explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about wine. And we're going to talk about it in a context that is not that usual for this channel. I'm going to talk about gaming and a game called Cyberpunk 2077. And I have played through all of it. I have done all side quests, everything that you can do in Cyberpunk. And I really like to be in that world. It's a cyber uh, dystopian future with a lot of different uh, rivalries and so on. So it's a very complex world and a lot that is going on in that world. But as I have done everything, I wanted to change the experience up. I want, still wanted to play the game, but I wanted some kind of new content. And when you do go into that kind of mindset, modding is what you are looking for. And what you could mod in Cyberpunk 2077 is you can add better lighting and it does wonders to the look of the actual game. You get a totally different experience. You can add 4K resolution textures, which makes everything in the world look a little bit more sharp, a little bit more crisp. And then there is a bunch of more quest lines. I think I found about 13 different quest lines that I haven't tried out yet, but I'm really eager to do some more quests and actually experience more content in the game. They could add more clothing options. More of the dystopian kind of characteristics here is that the most of the clothing are very dirty or very cyber or something in between. But there isn't really these kind of dressed up or uh, this kind of more brand or more casual clothing. A lot of those things are missing in the game. So you can add more clothes and make your character look totally different to other characters in the game. And you could also add cars if you like to drive around in the game. There is a bunch of car mods. You ha can even have flying cars or going in helicopters and so on. So you can add those kind of things to the game as well. Of course, you can add gun and gunplay options. You can make the game much harder. You can have different rivalries playing out at the... Uh, um, <laughs> disputes in between and you could uh, be uh, caught in a crossfire or similar things or you could have a new game plus that is really much harder than the original game and is not a part of the game yet and of course you can also add scripting which makes behavioral changes to NPCs so one of these was the um, NPC one that made them more reactive. So if you had the gun uh, drawn for instance, they could comment on that. If you walk too closely, they could comment on that. If you were being shot up by the police or by, followed by the police, they could be reacting to that and so on. So there's a bunch of these kind of extras that you can add to the game and make the world even more realistic or more interesting to be a part of. So I wanted to start modding the game, of course, and I'm running Linux, I'm running in Proton, which is wine in the bot in, in behind the scenes and so on. But when I started to mod things, it's just having a bunch of zip packages or RARs or compressed data that you unzip and then put into the game directory, and then you have modded the game pretty much. So you don't need to do that much. But I couldn't get it to work because there were missing things and I looked in forums and so on and found that you needed to install some Windows binaries and you also needed to activate a bunch of DLLs. And that is what we are going to look into in this video. So if we can go over to my screen here, we can first off get Proton Tricks working. And Proton Tricks is a wrapper over Wine Tricks. And Wine Tricks is a way of configuring and changing wine to add more functionality. So to get this to work, I tried to install Proton Tricks in Ubuntu and that version was not compatible with my installation of uh, Proton that is used by uh, Cyberpunk. So I first off created a new Python uh, work environment here. I will activate that one. In this one I will install something called pipx, 
which is a Python installer, and then I can install Proton Tricks and get the latest version of that. It's already installed on my computer, but this was the way I went through and installed these packages. Next up, I want to run Proton Tricks, and if you just start that in Ubuntu, the Wine server that is packaged with Proton is not compatible with the Proton tricks that I've installed, sadly. But the Wine server that I have installed locally on my Ubuntu uh, machine is, so I could start that and do the configuration through that. And what I ran was this command. So I have Wine server, USR bin Wine server, which is my locally installed Wine, and then Proton tricks. I will run with no BRAP. This is some kind of containerization thing that doesn't work on my computer. Then I wanted the GUI version and I want verbose output. So when I run this, I get this window here and here I will choose the game for Proton Tricks. I will choose Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, next up, we will get a configuration option where we can choose what we want to do with our wine installation. But before that, we get this error message that the versions, uh, 24 and 64 bit version is different. Doesn't really matter for this configuration part of the installation. So I will just ignore that. Then this here, I will choose how I want to install and I want to use the default wine prefix, which is saying that find the proton directory for cyberpunk. So what we see here is that it found the uh, proton directory, which is compat data 1091500, which is the steam ID of cyberpunk. So he, it's here that it will install things. And one thing I needed to install was a couple of windows DLLs and components. So if I run that, I will get this kind of a window where I can install a bunch of extra run times that you need. And this could be something that you could install if you are running wine applications and need some extras that you want to install, that you can run wine tricks and install some DLLs here. What I needed for this game was the uh, D3D compiler 47, which is the uh, uh, direct 3D. Uh, in, uh, compiler and I also needed to have the Visual C 2022 runtime so I will install that on all those libraries so those two DLLs I chose them press ok and those will be installed next up I needed to add a bunch of DLLs from the different packages so in the game when you are running these kind of mods they come with some DLLs and if you don't actually go in and say that these DLLs I want you to load, they will not look for them and load them. So what I did here is run the wine config. And if you run that, you will get a window that looks very similar to a Windows configuration screen here with drivers and audio and so on. But you have a libraries uh, part here. And here you can add a new library for override. So I typed in the different libraries that I found in my installation. So everything that has the extension of DLL in my different mods that I added, I took those names and typed them in here and added them and applied. So for instance, if we look down here, we have WinMM, which is one of the DLLs. Version was one of the DLLs. Tweak Excel, uh, red 4 x um, SCC Lib. Input loader, codeware, mod settings, archive XSL, and so on. So there was a bunch of different DLLs that I needed to add in order to get this up and running. When I have done that, I can just exit out of everything and start the game. And when they, you start a game, you will see all the different mods that are installed. If you get an error, it will be shown when you start the game, and or you will if a particular a mod is not loaded in the game, usually they actually show a screen and say, I couldn't load this because you are missing this kind of library or missing things. So you could figure out what you needed to add more. But when you come to this launcher, you can actually go in here on the settings and enable mods. So when I do have done that, and you have hopefully added all the DLLs, 
most of the mods will work. I haven't found anything that doesn't work for me. So everything that I have added, and I have added a lot of mods, there are a lot of mod videos out there, but I don't think the purpose of this video is showing how to mod Cyberpunk. It's more how to add extra DLLs and extra runtimes to Wine if you want to run an application. And I'm seeing this as an add to if you, for instance, want to run a retro game that has some DLLs in it, you could add them there. If you want to run an application that is a Windows application that needs extra DLLs, you can add them there. Or if you need an extra runtime, you can install it through Wine in this way. So it's more of a wine walkthrough how you can actually install these kind of things. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you want to support the channel, there is a donation link and affiliate links in the description. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.